Hi guys, I decided to try to make a tutorial, and since I kind of got a hang of how I wanted to record things from now on, I'm actually recording it. So this picture, I'm just going to kind of explain what I did before I got to the line art. So, okay, I got like a basic shape of what pose I wanted and what I wanted her to kind of, like her body to kind of look like, then I move on to like putting details in the face. And I duplicate that layer and then add details to it. And more details, more details, and more details until I get something that I feel comfortable with, something that I kind of like and represents what I'm trying to get at. Figuring out does this make sense and all that kind of stuff, since, you know, I, it's something that's coming straight from my head. And then I figure out like the shadows and where I want the light to be hitting. So since I couldn't figure out the color, usually I do this with color, but since I didn't know what colors I wanted certain things to be yet, I just used shadows. I just played around with where I want the shadows to hit. And once you have something that you're satisfied with, and you know that that's what you want it to look like, just go straight on to like taking that finalized layer, lowering the opacity, changing the color, and moving on to the ink tool. Now, more details on the ink tool is you just, I keep it at like 1, 1 1.6, somewhere between that. I don't usually do like 2, depending on the size. And then the angle and the tilt is brought all the way down. And then I just kind of move on from there and just start working out, hatching out details. Sometimes you can fix things by like altering things and whatnot if it feels like it doesn't look right. But that's basically what I do with line art. To be quite honest, this is something that usually just takes time and practice to get better with. And there's no real like smooth tool or some way to calibrate the ink tool so it ends up coming out smoother while you use it. That kind of doesn't exist in GIMP, however, GIMP is pressure sensitive, so you can, if you have a tablet and you install your driver and everything like that, it should account for it. There isn't anything special you gotta do in order to like, get your pressure to work, or to get it to be pressure sensitive, um, since it is designed to be something like, like Photoshop, so. If your pressure does, if you're realizing that you kind of get a like one thick blocky line, it's most likely your driver. So I highly suggest that you either go to tech support or just remove your driver and reinstall it. And it, I suggest to tech support because sometimes doing that it still kind of creates an issue. So they have this other way of doing it. Um, or other ways that you can kind of tackle this issue if it doesn't really work out, like just uninstalling it and reinstalling it. But that's basically my tip for line art.